his name, everybody. Praise his name. Everybody. desire the sincere milk of the word. Why? That ye may grow thereby. That's what I want to talk about. Bless your heart, Elder Pete. That's what I'm going to talk about. I'm still growing. Now, can y'all say that with me? One, two, three. I'm still growing. I'm still growing. How about you? If you are not growing anymore, boy, something wrong with you. Y'all take your seat. Say amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. I say this all the time, that it had all power the moment you thought it, not just spoke it. Edify your children with it. Strengthen them right now with it. 
so that they may grow thereby. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to tell y'all a story. Anybody ever heard of Sir Edmund Hillary? Sir Edmund Hillary failed in several of his early attempts to climb Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. On one occasion, he had to leave five associates dead on the side of that great mountain. Still, the British Parliament wanted to recognize these valiant efforts, so they invited Hillary into their chambers. They even placed a picture of Mount Everest at the front of the room. When Sir Edmund Hillary entered the room, the members of Parliament rose to give him a standing ovation. When he saw these great legislators standing and applauding his good effort, y'all ain't hear me, mm -hmm. tears filled his eyes. Many members of parliament noticed the tears and thought, look, the tears of happiness that we are recognizing this good effort he has made. Mm -hmm. They were not tears of happiness and joy. They were tears of anger and frustration. Sir Edmund Hillary certainly had not set out to leave five associates dead on the side of that mountain. So he walked to the front of the room and literally pounded on the picture of Mount Everest. He screamed at the mountain, you defeated me, but you won't defeat me again because you have grown all that you can, but I'm still growing. Amen. As Hillary walked to the front of the room, he recognized something that many people never recognize. Certainly he had made a good effort to climb that mountain. But the greatest enemy of excellence is good. You missed that, y'all. You missed that. You missed that. I don't know. I don't know. He, he, he Listen again. The greatest enemy of excellence is good. Think about all the good that we do. Somebody, I want y'all to really think about that. Think about all the good that you do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to say something. It, and it's not that I used to think I was nitpicky, but I may be a little bit, but I'm not so much nitpicky as I am believing that God deserves our best. Amen. Amen. So I walked in and I, as I took my seat in Sunday school over here at the end, I, I can't help but look at the roles in the church. Uh -huh. One thing that drives me crazy is when they're crooked. <laughs> How could we come in here, clean this building, and leave the roads crooked? The church smelled good this morning. I could actually go in the bathroom and not worry about, y'all understand. <laughs> but it was a good effort. But it wasn't great. Y'all ain't here. Oh, y'all yeah. y'all ain't understanding what I'm saying. You, you know, God made got, got, got us through all week. Thank you, Lord. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. And we can't come on Sunday morning to, to say thank you together. Y'all y'all understand what I'm yes. saying? Yes. So, it, it, uh, uh, are you happy being good? Praise God, somebody. Praise God, somebody. So can I say it one more time? The greatest enemy of excellence is good. Hmm. Let me go back to Sir Edmund Hillary. He had not set out to make a good effort at climbing Mount Everest, but to arrive at the top. Amen. <clears throat> 
Ultimately, he was the first person to climb Mount Everest. Why? Because he continued to grow and refused to be satisfied with the good. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. You should be tired of being good. Kobe Bryant once said, and I was like, oh, no wonder he was he was he was so great. Because he said, people don't hate you for being good. Mm -hmm. They hate you for being great. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise All you gotta do is be great at something for your haters to arise. Mm -hmm. right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be great at something and watch. How many people talk about you? Mm -hmm. If you're good, they leave you alone. Mm -hmm. But when you're great, oh, yeah. all of a sudden, everything's wrong with you. Oh, Amen. Praise God, somebody. Yeah. Let, let, let me tell you about another gentleman. Having worked for many years in Africa, Dr. I mean David Livingstone returned to England briefly. Someone greeted him. Well, Dr. Livingstone, where are you ready to go now? Livingstone responded, responded, I'm ready to go anywhere, provided it be forward. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. Somebody stop where they are. Yes. And they're unhappy, so they talk about you when you're moving forward. Oh, yeah. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Praise God. They don't want you to move forward because they don't want to move forward. Come on, come on, Bishop. And they want you to stay right there with them and y'all be miserable together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all understand? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm moving forward. Mm -hmm. So every Christian, y'all say every Christian, every Christian, should find a moment of transparent honesty for spiritual life assessment. Are we, with Sir Edmund Hillary, still growing? Are we, with David Livingstone, moving forward? Or has rigor mortis of the soul begun to say? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. First Peter 2 is about growing spiritually. The apostle Peter understood the danger of spiritual rigor mortis. Okay. <laughs> he knew what it was like to yawn spiritually. To find yourself ankle deep in concrete with no forward movement or progress. That's what Satan wants us to be. Amen. So he don't have to work to keep you. Y'all ain't in here, but it's all right. Peter had spent enough time in the twilight zone of spiritual nothingness to be able to relate to it and warn against it. Chapter 2 will assist us in moving forward in our faith and grow up spiritually. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to be out here before 1130. What's the best way for us to keep growing? Praise God. Y'all don't believe we'll be out here before 1130, do you? Give me 10 minutes. Oh, you already owe you dinner, you? Yeah, be, yeah, you heard it said, yeah, I already owe, owe me dinner. And I'm ready to collect. <laughs> Give me 10 minutes, so we're going to back. I didn't want to load us up with content because this here is too important for us to do that. Are y'all with me here? I want y'all to get it. Y'all understand? So, what's the best way for us to keep growing? We have to realize that God is building us. Mm -hmm. How in the world is he doing that? Or how is he going to do that? Y'all want to see what the text says? Mm -hmm. The first thing, we need three things, y'all. The first thing we need is we need balanced sustenance. Okay, amen. We need balanced sustenance. Sustenance. I heard Trevor say one day he was going to cook some neck bones. Mm -hmm. I bet it was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? I had, um, I had some steak yesterday that was left over, and I scrambled two eggs and some toast with it. Not for breakfast, but for brunch. And I had some Costa Rican coffee 
I had two cups of that with it. Y'all understand? Yeah. It was a good and balanced. It wasn't too much. It didn't make me sleep all day. Y'all ain't in here with it, y'all. But it was a it was balanced sustenance. Y'all are y'all in the house with me? What 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 does sustenance mean? Sustenance means a source of strength. It means nourishment. So what is Peter talking about in this text? Y'all ever ate something and it just didn't do the job? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love Chinese food. Mm -hmm. You like Chinese food? I love food. But sometimes after I eat an hour later, I need a sandwich. I didn't say sandwich. Come on, y'all. <laughs> you know, I got and you got to go and make that sandwich. All right, Lorenzo and I was riding somewhere, and um, we jumped in the car with Greg. And we was in the church here when Lorenzo was setting up the presentation for today. And Lorenzo said. I said, what y'all want to do now? Once he got done, he said, man, I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry. He didn't say hungry. hungry, hungry. He said, I'm hungry. hungry. So what he needed was some nourishment. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't in here with me now. Yeah, if you, if you would have gave him something that's going to make him hungry, and y'all ever seen something like a Burger King commercial? <laughs> and that Whopper, boy, that thing looks good. good. And yes, you go up there and you get one. And then when you, you when you open it up, it didn't look like that on TV. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, it, 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 and, and, and when you ate it, it didn't, it didn't do the job. Y'all in here. Y'all but see here here it's the same thing with us spiritually. It's the same thing with us biblically. We have no appetite if the wrong things are eaten. Oh. Amen. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, there is no appetite if the wrong things are eaten. Look at verse 1. This is why I went to verse 1. Y'all look at this. So he said, so get rid of all evil behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said all. Be done with all deceit, hypocrisy, jealousy, and all unkind speech. So if you, you, you y'all know, know what's a bad thing to be as a Christian? Is a malnourished one. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. understand what I'm saying? Here, here's what I mean by that. If you don't pick your Bible up until somebody reading the scripture in church on Sunday, and you ain't read it all week. You haven't eaten any of God's word. Y'all understand? You malnourished. What would happen if we ate one time a week? In most churches, it's two hours, right? So, so it, it, it's not that way in this church because we're gonna be out of here in an hour today. Y'all understand what I'm saying? If you ate one day a week. For one hour, you malnourished. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. And by the time Sunday comes around again, you starving. And then some of us might be so weak we can't make it. Are y'all with me here? That's a malnourished Christian. If, 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 if we have no appetite if we're eating the wrong things. If you're not praying to God, you might eat something else. Are y'all in that? Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? If you eat the wrong things, what goes in comes out. Y'all understand? Am I, am, I, am I making any sense here? So there is no appetite if the wrong things are eaten and you always find yourself hungry. Or in the words of Deacon Green, hungry. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Go home, go home on a Sunday and eat a hot dog. It just won't do, Deacon that said. Yeah. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So there's no appetite if the wrong things are eaten. But you will have a strong appetite 
if the right things are in you. That's right. That's right. Praise the Lord, somebody. Lord. So, so look at verse 2 and 3. Like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you will grow into a full expression of what? Spirit. Salvation. Spirit. Did y'all catch that? Mm -hmm. Cry out for this nourishment, he says. Now that you have had a taste of the Lord's okay. kindness. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was growing up, there was this commercial about, um, I think the cereal was called Life. Y'all remember that? Yeah. And so life, that cereal was supposed to have everything in it that you need. So it was a group of boys, because it was supposed to be good for you, they didn't want to eat it. So they was like, you go ahead, try it. Yeah, I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Then they said, give it to Mikey. He'll eat anything. Mikey started eating that cereal and they were like, he likes it. Hey, Mikey. Try it. You'll like it. Praise God. Y'all remember that day y'all was eating all that junk food? Yes, sir. Y'all ain't in here, but you, you know. I remember them days. I do too. When I ate all that junk food. Yes, sir. Y'all know what junk food is. I ate every gossip came my way. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I ate every hateful thing that came my way. Amen. Amen. Anything that I thought was giving me pleasure by talking about people, I was eating it. Yes, y'all understand? Yes, sir. So I have to ask y'all again. Do you all remember the day y'all was eating all that junk food? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then when you found out that good sustenance fills you up. Mm -hmm. I don't eat much junk food no more. Amen. I ain't talking about chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I ain't talking about hot dogs. I ain't talking about a Burger King Whopper Junior or Double. Well, that's what I like. <laughs> I ain't talking about that. All right. <laughs> I'm talking about the sincere milk of the word. I don't eat junk food like that no more. Amen. I eat the sincere milk of the word. Y'all want to know something? I'm still growing. Yes, I know I got the microphone. I know I'm standing up on the stage. I know I have the title pastor and bishop. I know all that. But guess what? I'm still growing. Because I eat a balanced meal. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Amen. The stuff I cook is junk. The stuff God prepares is great. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. So we need three things to grow. The first thing we need is we need balanced sustenance, that nourishment, the sincere milk of the word. Lord, help me, somebody. Amen. Second thing we need is we need a strong building. All right. We need a strong building. You won't get a strong building by eating junk. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we need a strong building, and it must be built on a strong foundation. It must be built on a strong foundation. Let's look at verse um, 4 through 6. Let's see what it says. Amen. You are coming to Christ, <laughs> who is the living cornerstone of God's temple. He was rejected by people, but he was chosen by God for great honor. That's in Isaiah chapter 28, verse 6. Is that what's up there? Isaiah chapter 28, verse 6. Y'all remember that? Amen. And, 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 huh? Isaiah 28, verse 16. Praise the Lord, y'all. Praise the Lord. You will come to Christ, who is the living cornerstone of God's temple. He was rejected by people, but he was chosen by God for great honor. Look what he says in verse 5. Floored me. And you are living stones that God is building into his spiritual temple. Y'all should give God some praise for that right now. You are the living 
living, living stones that God is building into a spiritual temple. What's more, he says, you are his holy priest. Through the mediation of Jesus Christ, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please God. We can't be good. We have got to be great. Amen. Tony the Tiger. Great. Yeah, see, y'all got y'all in here today. That's good. And watch what he says. As the scriptures say, I am placing a, and this is Isaiah 28, verse 16. I am placing a cornerstone in Jerusalem, chosen for great honor. And anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. I don't care what they say about you. Ain't no ain't no disgrace in that. No matter what they think about you, you are more than that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They can say you're the sorriest thing that ever woke up this morning. Ah, yeah. uh, that's a lie. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Amen. Quit letting people make you think you are less than glorious to God. Yes. Amen. 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 Last I checked, you didn't scramble my eggs. All right. Amen. Y'all ain't in here, but it's all right. Amen. Y'all with a brother. Y'all with a brother. Amen. That strong foundation, what we just read, is built on Christ. Thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you, Father. It's built Thank on Christ. Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> as long as he's pleased with me, I don't care about anything else. Amen. amen. For real. Y'all understand what I'm saying. I care, but I don't mm -hmm. care. Y'all yeah. understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying. Christ ain't going to talk about me like that. Amen. Christ ain't going to treat me like that. Right. I'm a living stone in the temple he's building. Amen. And that foundation is him. Y'all, somebody give me some praise up here. Amen. Not me, but give the Lord some praise. Let's, let's give him a hand for it right now. Because I'm going to tell you something. If it must be built on a strong foundation, which is built on Christ, it'll crumble if built on a selfish foundation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's going to come falling to the ground. Mm -hmm. Praise God, somebody. Y'all ready to go? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Yes, you who trust him recognize the honor God has given him. But for those who reject him, this is from Psalm 118, verse 22, right? Mm -hmm. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. Mm. You reject him all you want, but he's still going to be the foundation. Amen. And the, the question is whether you're going to be in that temple or not. Amen, amen. If you ain't in the temple, you in the lake. Oh. <laughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You reject Christ, he's still going to be the cornerstone. Praise the Lord. And here's another one that's going to come from um, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 14. And he is the stone that makes people stumble. Okay, okay, okay. See the word. Are, are y'all with me? Uh -huh. The rock that makes them fall. Amen. Here's why. They stumble because they do not obey God's word. And so they meet the faith that was planned for them. Praise the Lord. God, God said in, in the Gospel of John that he wishes that all men be saved. And it's also said in the book of Acts. That don't mean, but if you choose not to be saved, he will respect your wishes. I said this during Sunday school. I taught a class. Deacon Lorenzo went with me. And, 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 and we have messed people up so badly that we think that because this is all the encouraging messages that we get on Sunday morning and midweek Bible study or worship service, that no matter what we do, God is going to get us out. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Now we hear that all the time. Y'all, y'all talk to me. So this one lady, was, you know, was talking about. Now they were in a class to get a hundred dollars towards their utility bill. Amen. Amen. And and we were talking about making financial decisions. And one lady was talking about, and, I, and pay your tithes. I said, yes, ma'am, pay your tithes. I said, but if you pay your tithes and still make bad decisions otherwise, you still going to be broke. Oh, no, I don't agree with that. Yes, ma'am. You make bad decisions, you're going to be broke. Yes, ma'am. And then she said, I don't know about that. I said, you know what? You will make a bad decision and God will let you. Amen. Amen. Oh, I don't agree with that. I, I, I'm like, who in here got an 850 credit score? All right. Why are y'all taking this class to get $100 off your utility bill? Hmm. If that was the case, everybody in here would have an 850 credit score. Amen. Amen. Y'all understand? And the ones with the 850 credit score will be looking at those that don't. Talking about you need to pay your tithes then. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't in here. Mm -hmm. Are, are y'all with me here? Are y'all with me here? Y'all in here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which means it will crumble if built on a selfish foundation because you are disobedient to his word. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody give God oh, a hand clap so I can move on. I missed my two minutes, but I'm still grab my love Y'all in the house Hallelujah. here. Y'all in the house here. We need three things to keep growing. The first thing we need is balanced sustenance. Come on, baby. The second thing we need is a strong Amen. building. Amen. The third thing we need is a binding system. Okay. We need a binding system. I ain't going to give you right the definition. Now. We'll get that you know, right then. Let's look at verse uh, 9 and 10. Y'all y'all with me? But you are not like that. Peter said that, bro. Peter said that. I, 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 I know that the foundation built on you will crumble. Amen. But Peter said, but you ain't like that. Mm -hmm. For you are a chosen people. You Amen. are a royal priest, a holy nation, God's Amen. very Amen. own possession. And as a result, you, Lord. you can show others the goodness of God. For he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful life. Hallelujah. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you receive no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. That's out of Hosea chapter 1 and chapter 2. Y'all praise God with me right now. Then what do you mean we need a binding system? Here's what that means. That we are to grow together. That's what's going to bind us up together. Yeah. If we gotta grow together. If you right. grow and I'm not growing, Woo. the church ain't growing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all understand? Yes, sir. That's what that means. If you growing and she's not growing, something wrong with that. Amen. The whole ain't gonna grow. Yes, right. It's gonna keep being broken. Yep. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. We have got, it, it, it does no good for you, you to grow, Jesus. and she don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means together we're not growing. Mm -hmm. It's like a Siamese twin. We should be Siamese yes, twins up in here. Yes, sir. If one eat, we both eat. Amen. Amen. If one hurt, we all hurt. Amen. Praise God, somebody. Praise we God. have got to grow together. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Together. Mm -hmm. Together. Don't talk about one that didn't come today. Amen. Call them and find out today. Well, all right. Amen. Amen. Y'all understand? Because if they don't grow, you don't, don't grow. grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to have a binding yes. system that's yes. going to allow us to grow together. Mm -hmm. And it is bonded with Christ yes. Himself. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, Amen. 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 And thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you, Jesus, on this morning. Y'all give the Lord some praise up in here. Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank give the Lord some praise. Up Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Up in here. Because he's worthy of all.
on our praises. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes. He's worthy. Listen, y'all. It, 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 the thing about God is the more we eat, the more we grow. The more we eat together, the more we all grow together. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I, I think everybody in the building today is in the kingdom. They're, they, they, they're, they're, there's a room reserved in the temple hall or the mansion, whatever you want to call it. Wherever God is, where I want to be. Amen. Praise the Lord. But there may be somebody that is not. Y'all in the building, y'all know what the deal is. If anybody needs to come forward, you can come forward. If there's any prayer that needs to be done, we're going to pull the elders up and we're going to pray. Amen. But for those of you all that are watching, and I think everybody on conference call is with me on, on what we're doing here. But if you're watching, you may not even be good. And if you're not good, you're not great. Amen? Somebody may not feel good about themselves. Listen, we need to have a talk, all right? Um, I'm not one so big that we can't talk when you need it. Pick up the phone and call. Amen? Drop that message. I will call you back. Amen. Yeah. I got some pastors in Africa that are impatient. If you're one of those pastors in Africa, I'll, I'll, I'll get with you. Okay, don't don't bug out. I, I got more things going on than just to sit there and message people. But I will. I'll get to you. Amen. But you got to be satisfied with what I give you. And I may send somebody else your way. Amen. Amen. They that help me help you. Amen. Amen. Pick up the phone and call so we can talk about this. Somebody might be tired of life as it is for you. I'm not saying I'm the complete answer, but I have a relationship with the answer. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know Amen. where to point you. Amen. Amen. And listen, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I ain't, I, I'm not going to be throwing all these scriptures at you and all this holy jargon telling you you can't dress this way or act that way. No. 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 I got a sport coat on today, but I don't have on a suit. I got on tennis shoes. I come to church to dress how I want to. Amen. Not how I should. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ain't got nothing to do with that. I'll be walking on, on, on gold so pure that you can see through it in tennis shoes. Amen. Or barefoot. All right. Amen. Don't let all that jargon fool you. That is not salvation. Just going to be straight up with you. Just going to be real with you. And, and if you are in a place, I'm going to tell you that. Why? Because I was in that place. I understand what that is. I understand what that's like. I've done things in my life I'm not proud of. But I don't do it now. I don't eat that junk no more. Amen. Praise the Lord. But you, please call me. Please message me. Let's talk about this. It don't have to be that way. Or if it's good, call me and tell me that. Amen. And if you would like to um, obey God with your, your finances or, or, or if you want to give to this great church, you can go to tithely.com slash Greater Faith Baptist Fellowship. Tithely.com. We don't use Givelify. I'm trying to set up a cash app under the church, but I don't have it yet, so I ain't going to give you mine. No. Just go on to tithely.com, Greater Faith Baptist Fellowship, or you can go on the website, www.greaterfaithbf. B is in boy, F is in friend. 
greaterfaithbf.org. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? Listen, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Um, you don't have to be that way. I do know this. Jesus is coming soon. Mm, the world is showing us that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The world is showing us he's coming soon. Mm. Don't be caught. Slip. Thank you. Don't be caught slipping. Don't be caught without uh, having that re saving relationship with the Lord. Amen. If you don't know what that means, call me. That's even more reason. Or send me a message. Amen. Amen. God bless y'all. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. See you next weekend. We'll see you Tuesday. Y'all get a lot of some